Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 16 of the Minecraft series. In this episode I am going to finally work on my base a bit more. I might extend out some layers from this bubble elevator out here and then I might also put some bubble elevators here, maybe in this corner too, and then maybe try and figure out something to do in the middle. I also need to fix this staircase, it's very messy and kind of awkward to use. So I think what I'm actually going to do in the house today is I will set up a bit of storage room. All of these are like overflow chests and also, you know, it's not very well organized. I think I'll also set up a small enchanting room. I might also put a brewing station in there as well. I think I'll also move my nether portal inside and then I might do some other rooms like maybe a bedroom and you know maybe a furnace area and then I think I'll also find a cool spot for the beacon where it can like come out from the top of the mountain. I think I'll set up the bubble elevators first from then dig out and map out the rooms and figure out what we are going to put where. I was also thinking I might put the beacon here so it comes up from the floor goes up there because yeah I was thinking what could I put in the middle I was thinking maybe a staircase but I don't know I feel like the beacon coming through would be really cool but I think to start off with I will fix the staircase I'll just I'll just do a really simple staircase just going down so I will get to work on these stairs Okay, I have finished the stairs. It's literally just <laughs> a very simple staircase. I mean, I might try and work out how to make this look a little bit better. Try and make it not as steep. So maybe coming down to like here, but then do like maybe a little deck and then have a staircase on either side to try and make it not such a singular steep slope. Got rid of this last little raised bit of dirt so everything's on the same level. But yeah, this is done. I might end up tweaking it to make it look a little bit nicer. I need to quickly grab my nether portal and then we'll put it inside as well. But it looks a lot nicer. Quickly put the beacon in here and see if that's actually a good spot or not. Because I don't know, I really feel like I should be having something here in the central location. It feels like it's going to be really empty. Otherwise, yeah, I, I think I'll quickly put the beacon in, see if I like it or not. If not, maybe I can try and find like a really, really compact, simple like staircase design so that we could actually just go straight down in the middle um, and then also maybe extend up. Yep, I'll, I'll quickly put that in and I will see what it looks like and whether we will keep it or not. Okay, I have finished it. Just put it in the middle here and then I've just put some glass to stop mobs from obviously falling down into it. It's not white at the top of the cliff as I would have hoped. Quickly fly away and we'll and we will see what it actually does look like. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that is really cool. That is very obvious too. Yeah, and like if we made it red or orange or something, it would stand out a lot. Yeah, it would be nice if it was maybe like a couple more blocks further up the cliff. Yeah, I I think I might keep that honestly. It's not too annoying or imposing being here in the middle either. I'm I'm still thinking about whether I do want to be able to go under here. Honestly, I could probably even put like a little staircase going up here and then a staircase going down here if I truly wanted to do that. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, okay. Awesome. We will fly out now. See what this looks like. Yeah, that's cool. 
I think I'll probably make it a more strong color though. So something that just stands out and now we basically have, you know, whatever status effect we want in our house now. I think the radius will probably be to about here, so it'll basically cover my entire base. I'll, I'll change the color around to see what stands out the best. So now that we've finished that, I might try and look up some really compact staircase designs and see if we can incorporate staircases on either side. In the meantime, I've gone through a couple of colors and now red, and I think I'll probably keep red for the time being. And I have also found a very compact staircase design as well. We build up the staircase and at least make it look nice and see whether it is practical or not. Yeah, so that actually works quite well and it really doesn't look too bad either. If we really wanted to, we could do something like that as well. And it means, you know, we won't fall off it. So we can probably add some trapdoors as well. This is the general idea. So set this up here and then we can make one going down as well. So we have an up staircase and a down staircase too. I think I'll mess around with the block palette and see if I can try and make it look a little bit nicer and then it'll mean we can extend up a little bit more. I think we'll probably only be able to get one extra layer before we reach the top and then we can go down and then we'll actually be able to utilize all of this space. Actually might just do this this staircase and see if we even need the bubble elevators but then we we will at least have these to go further down here and extend back out this way. Okay so Finish building these two. I'll um I'll bring this up as high as I can. I'll try and dig out another room up here. And then we will bring this staircase down as well. Okay, I've finished this for the most part. We've got trapdoors going around all the sides so that you can't fall off. And then we come up here, and this is just obviously a very rough layout of the space up here. This has worked fine and now I just need to do the exact same thing here going down. Okay I have come into a bit of an issue digging down here. We actually I've literally dug like right into where the beacon is. I do quite enjoy the idea of doing the staircases but if I am going to want to do this downward staircase, I am going to have to move this. Um, I could maybe move it in here. I wasn't planning on putting anything out here. I basically only dug out here to have a spot to put the bubble elevators, the beacon here instead. It's still covering the entire house, but it's more out of the way. And actually, this will end up bringing it a bit further up where I was wanting it to come through anyway. So yeah, I... I think I might actually move it in there. Okay, I have finished putting the beacon here. I've just covered it all up. So now we can just lock that off. I will need to quickly go grab some more glass to fill up the top. Okay, yeah, this is a lot further up and much more central. That looks cool. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to finish up here. I'm thinking I will put the enchantment table and a little brewing station up here and we'll keep this sort of like like a little attic area so we won't make this too big and it'll just be a nice little cozy spot. I've gathered up a whole bunch of stuff to use. I'm sort of thinking I might try and incorporate Quartz, deep slay, and maybe blackstone into it to like make it more darker and, and eerie. I think I'll copy like a similar design, this three by three, um, but just change the palette used. So I'll dig out the size of the area that I want. I'll mess around with the locks that I use.
we've set up the enchantment table. We can get level 30 from this. We've got a barrel here with paper and lapis. And we've got a grindstone to de-enchant it again. I'll just line this corner here with some cauldrons, some brewing stands, and then we will put a tiny little nether wart farm. Okay, I've finished this brewing station. I've put a little armor stand here, got some chainmail. I've put my dragon egg here and the dragon head. I thought I might as well and they actually fit in quite nicely. And here we've got a cauldron, got a bucket in here, an infinite water source so when we use it all up we can just keep filling it up. Got a tiny little nether wart farm and we've got all of these brewing stands as well and some very basic ingredients and some potions I already had lying around. Tiny bit of colour, there we go. So yep, up here is done. I don't know how much I'll use this space. I might come up here, brew some potions every now and then. Maybe enchant, but um, yeah, this, this is just a cute little area up here. So we finished upstairs. Now we can work on downstairs. I will make a storage area because I am in dire need of one. The other thing I was wanting to add was then a furnace room and a spot for my nether portal. We could just keep up here my sort of bedroom area and maybe we can just leave this as, as the smelting area. But I will definitely build the storage underneath. Um, for the portal I was actually just thinking I might just put it into the wall here. So I'll, I'll, I'll quickly put my portal back there. So that's done. Now we will get to building the storage room. Okay, I am finally finished with the storage room. This took quite a while to organize, but it's done. So I've got these little hanging signs. So I've got all of my blocks and mob drops back here. Um, for these, I've got like cobblestone here. So basically this just indicates that this row of double chests is for this singular specific item. So the main things that I'm probably gonna constantly have a big supply of are here. And we've got like just the random stone blocks here with just singular double chests for them. We've got wood, we've got gunpowder, and then we've got all of the mob drops here and some extra bits and bobs here. And then we've got our food so obviously since we have all of these farms we're going to be getting a whole bunch of this stuff so we've got just rows full for all of this um got some of the other smaller things here like mushroom saplings and then we've got our ore so coal iron obviously big surplus and then we've got all of our other stuff here just in single chests so we've still got quite a bit of storage left um anyway and here same thing got rockets here and then all of our extra tools and random other stuff is here that will end up being really really handy so now all i have to do is just Put some cookers up here, make up here look a little bit nicer, and then I think we will be done for this episode. Okay, cool. We've got eight blast furnaces, eight smokers, and we've just put a couple of extra bits and bobs here. I think this will do us for the time being. Um, I'll keep my bed here. I might end up doing a little bit more decorating. Um, if I go and get some bricks I can maybe put some pots around and maybe make some little um, bushes just to 
give it a bit more color and make it look a tad bit nicer. But yeah, I'm I'm very happy I've done this. The only other thing is I could probably build a spot for the dogs and maybe some cats if I get cats eventually as well. Just because this isn't a particularly nice area for them. Um, I mean, honestly, I could just do like a, a little rug here and just keep them here and maybe take some upstairs but i think that will do us for this episode in terms of what i'm going to do next episode thinking of either working on the animal barn and moving all of these guys or potentially working on my villages and getting that villager trading hall set up but i'm not entirely sure feel free to leave your thoughts and ideas and suggestions in the comment section you know if you guys think i should build the barn or do the villages or i don't know maybe go exploring again i'm not sure but yeah once again hope you all enjoyed watching and i will see you next time bye bye